Hey everybody, welcome to Fix369 YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about two problems that is happening with your App Store and your iTunes. Now, let's say you have up to date your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus with iOS 15 and you wanted to download apps, games or maybe you wanted to watch a film. And when you open up your iTunes, you found this. It says, cannot connect to iTunes. When you open up the App Store, you see this says, cannot connect to your App Store. Alright guys, now this problem mainly happens for three different reasons. First, it happens for your network, it happens for that server, at the same time it happens for your Apple ID. Now, if you want to solve the problem, the very first recommendation that you're going to go ahead and tell you is to open up your browser. Now, after opening up your browser, now simply go ahead and type Apple System Status. Now, once you type Apple System Status, go ahead and tap Go. Well, now, here is a situation. If you see it go through, that means you have no problem with your internet. However, if you see there is a problem with your internet, then the first recommendation from here that we want to give you is just go ahead and swipe up from the down and go ahead and turn on your aeroplane mode, wait around 10 seconds and more. Afterward, go ahead and turn it back off and your problem will be solved. Now, after making sure your internet is perfect, everything was working fine, then come to the place once again, type Apple system status and open up the first link and then go ahead and check that server whether it is up or down. Now, tap on plus. Well, once you're here, if you find out that your app store is available or your iTunes is available, that means you have no problem with the server. Alright guys, now the next thing we're going to talk about is your mobile network and the Wi-Fi. Now if you take a look at here, then we are already connected with the Wi-Fi here, but if you see that when we try to open up that iTunes or the App Store, then we get the same problem here. It says cannot connect to the iTunes Store, at the same time when we open up the App Store, it says cannot connect to the App Store. Well now, to solve the problem, the first things you have to do, just go ahead and swipe up from the down turn up your Wi-Fi and turn on your cellular data. Well, this is really highly recommendable things that you got to do to solve your problem. Now, afterward, now, if I open up the App Store, and then you'll be able to see now this is going to work completely fine. Okay, even if I open up the iTunes Store and let's see what happens. So now this is going to work as well. Okay, everybody. Now, if the previous process didn't work out and if you're still encountering the same problem, the next things you got to do, just go ahead and tap your settings and head over to your general and scroll down here and tap on date and time. If your date and time is incorrect, pretty often you will encounter this issue. Make sure you're actually turning on the set automatically option on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus to solve your problem. And quickly afterward, if you still see the same problem, just go ahead and scroll it up and tap on software update. Well, if you still found out that you got no new update for your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, then go ahead and check out the next way to solve your problem. Now, in the next way, we're going to talk about force closing your application, especially your App Store and iTunes Store, okay? Now, go ahead and double press your home button, and then you'll be able to see the background application will appear on your device. Now, go ahead and remove them all, and see, open this up and check whether your problem is solved or not. If you see still you got a problem, well, the last things we're going to tell you to do, just simply log out your Apple ID and lock it back on to see if this is going to help you or not. All right, guys, so these are the process you guys can try to do on your iPhone 6s and 6s Plus with iOS 15 to solve your problem, especially if your App Store and your iTunes says cannot connect to it. Hope you find this video useful. If so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.